You're here again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's always here. <laughs> it's my favorite place to come down for a drive. <laughs> Everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren, and this is Flat Cat Motoring. So, as you know, my love for the Mazda MX-5 is huge. You know, I've always liked them, always appreciated them. Um, until recently, I've always owned one. The thing is, I've had every, I've driven nearly all the MX-5s except for one the NC, or the Mark III, or third generation MX-5. Now the reason I haven't ever driven one, or I've never owned one, is they seem to get quite a bad rap for some reason. I don't know why. Um, like I said, personally, I've never experienced one, um, or I've never driven one. I've never even sat in one. So I don't really know where all this sort of, this hatred comes from, really. See a lot of, um, see a lot of posts online about, you know, Slate the Mark III saying it's big, it's heavy, um, almost boat-like to drive, I've heard, you know, some people say. Um, I want to know if that's true or not, because the MX-5 is one of the best-selling two-seater sports cars of all time. So the Mark III can't be that bad, surely. So, seeing as I've never driven one, and I've never experienced one, I need to go and find out, obviously, what all this fuss is about. So, it's time for me to go and make my own judgment on the Mark III MX-5. So today, I've enlisted the help of my good friend Reese um, from Lone Ranger Motoring, um, who actually has one of these cars in his collection. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and um, take the Master out for a spin and see if we can get to the bottom of this um, disagreement between Master fans. So, I'm going to crack on over to Newport now. So, um, yeah, I will catch up with you when I'm there. Obviously, catch up with Reese as well and see what's been going on with him recently. So, yeah, let's go and find out what the MX-5 Mark III is actually really like. Just casually driving past this uh, Peugeot with his bumper hanging off, as you do. Bad mark for Persia owners there. Anyway, sir, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the town. Hey. Basically a resident here now. Yeah, I live here. I keep asking them to install the uh pop machines and the slot machines but keeps forgetting not to do it <laughs> so mark 3 mx5 yes uh, back what? in an mx5 again mm -hmm. yeah so this isn't the first one you've owned either is it of the mark 3 no it's not the first i had a silver mark 1.3 1.8 it was an, a 56 plate it's a mark 3 1.3 in silk so like yeah 1.8 mark 3 and then I had a copper red Mark III two litre sport, mm. which I absolutely adored. Yeah. So this is number three then? Of the, the Mark Number threes, three yes. of the Mark III, yeah. Three is the magic number, guys. Yeah. So how come you chose one of, another one of these? Well, it's simply because of the fact that uh, I absolutely, I regretted selling my copper red Mark two litre sport. It was an absolute joy. I loved it to bits. Uh, I won two concourse competitions in that specific car. I was first in South Wales Owners Club to win the con Daily Driver concourse competition. I got the trophies. Mm. Is I, I had my photo with uh, big celebrities thanks to winning that. And it's just an absolutely amazing car. And I regretted selling it. Mm. It is one of the biggest mistakes regarding cars that I started did and uh, essentially this is to re years later to rectify that yeah, mistake. That mistake, yeah. No, no, that's fair that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And I missed <laughs> 
All right, mate, so let's uh, let's have a little look around uh, the car that you like to call Barry. Yes. Why did you call it Barry? Well, it's off uh, pretty much is after I watch a YouTube series called the, the Dark Railway, and my favourite character of all on there is called Barry, mm -hmm. and he comes out with really funny stuff like uh, bring up the Americans and tell them that, that they can't make chicken pies as good as the English. <laughs> and he's just random stuff like that, or mm. or other stuff like. I drink biscuits and eat tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Overall, like I said, obviously you can tell he's a bit bigger, but it's actually quite. You know, people criticise the looks, but I actually quite like it, mm. and it's quite nice in the um, in like the ivory white as well. Oh, ma marble. Right? Marble white. Sorry. Yeah. It is like uh, an ivory sort of colour, yeah, isn't it? But it does look it. Uh, yeah. I didn't know what specific name it was until I found out. Because yeah. I, I'm one of those people that likes to find out the. Uh, everything and anything I can find that on my cars. Mm. I always uh, wanted them up for you in white. Yeah, no, uh, it, does, it, it suits it quite well, I think, doesn't mm. it, the colour, I it's think. it's a rare colour. You don't see many of these in this colour, especially an Icon with the two litre engine. Mm. In the UK, they only brought over 375 white Icons. So this is a, this is a two litre not the 1.8 no so this is the 100 and 160 degree quarter and this is an icon yes right okay so what's this what's the differences then obviously between your standard mark three and your icon right but normally sadly they're not here at the moment but i am having them made because you can't get these parts at the moment sadly i'm adding icon badges new icon badges made for here okay so they would have had the icon badges yes, they would have had the right, icon okay. badges here yeah uh, uh, Regarding the interior, it's not much on the outside because it's all set, all original, it's the same apart from its colour. Yeah. Uh, is on the icons in all the colours apart from the blue. They all had this black leather with red stitching, and if you, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, the embossed icon badge. On the oh seat. yeah, I can. See, yeah, yeah, just about. The, yeah. The, but yeah, and then I, and, and course, you've got it on the four mats as well. Look. Yes, with the red pinstripe. Okay, yeah. But that essentially is the only differences. And believe it or not, uh, people normally when you go for an MX-5, like because this is like based off like the not far off, off from the base model. Mm. Or, but. Cloth was actually an optional extra. Cloth <laughs> <laughs> was actually an optional extra in this yeah. car. You got you don't actually get a spare wheel in these, do you? No, and I with my very first Mark III, mm. he, which had the same wheels as this, I did try to fit a, a wheel in here. Yeah, just to see. Mm. He and there's no way in hell. No, we would never get even. It wouldn't even get into this bit. It's that. Narrow. So you get a little, you've got a little compressor there, I see. Yes, the compressor that's actually quite becoming quite rare now on the Mark Threes. Okay. Is to find them because people keep them. Yeah. You got your Captain Jack under there. Oh yes. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And the toolkit is. Is, is the toolkit in there? Nope, it's by there. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. And that's actually where it's meant to be. That's it. All right. Okay. Well, like I said, obviously I'm new to Mark III, so obviously yeah, forgive I'm, me for I'm, the uh, no, 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 newbie no, no. questions. No, I'd rather you ask the questions because mm. it's found the pe people out there that's never had an MX-5 before, or they've had a Mark II, yeah. but they're, and they're interested in a Mark III. Yeah. I'd rather you ask that question. And unfortunately, the one thing I love, I liked about the Mark II, one and twos, you can't get electronic aerial. Oh yeah, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Uh, that's a shame. Because yeah. And he can't retrofit the Mark II, two electric aerial to go mm. in here because it's a different angle. Mm. Also, it won't, won't work. Yeah. But the uh, central uh, central brake light. Yes. Yeah. A lot um, of people put the chrome back chrome plating of this. Yeah. It's and I don't like the look of that. Oh. I mean, like so obviously you're um. You used to be able to. I think the other ones were sort of in the top yes, of the boot, was. weren't they? It was uh, because, yeah, because this is the, it's been made smaller. They had to put it up here yeah. for to comply with legislation. It's quite a big. World. It's quite a big uh, brake light, isn't it? Mm, there is, I'm not sure what I, uh, what I think about that. To be honest, it is with quite you. big. Yeah. You can, uh, 
it's a compromise, essentially. Yeah. But overall, I think it's a pretty good looking car, to be oh, honest yeah. with you. It is a good looking car. Another thing this car has actually got, which is, is an actual option mm -hmm. on this car, and it won't be staying chrome forever because I'm not, I'm going to be deleting most chrome off this car. Okay. Uh, it's this. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, that's a £250 optional extra is it? Oh, that came with uh, the car. Mm. So this is. So it has got you know it has got a couple of options on it. Mm, it does. So uh, and pretty much, much. Oh yes, and one other optional extra, mm. uh, which I only know this thanks to looking through the brochure. Uh, I specifically bought one because I bought this car. This firm ring. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred. I reckon. I, I, it's, why? Really? Yeah. Two hundred pounds for that. That's madness. Mm. You could probably buy those on <laughs> on eBay for like a fiver. Yeah, I it's got get... the same um, indicator lenses though as the Mark One and the Two. Yeah, essentially I thought it is. Yeah, it's because essentially you can fit the indicate aftermarket indicator lenses is or the standard ones from the Mark One mm. all the way through until till the Mark Four, and then they changed them mm. um, because they knew what people were doing. Yeah. That's a good, good looking car. But, uh, the only other option which I will rectify at some point, which it hasn't got. Oh, fog lights. Fog lights in the front. Yeah. And I believe the Mark III looks better perfect with the fog lights. Yeah. It's then the, the previous owner that has fitted the mesh drill on here. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. Uh, and I'll be fitting the bottom grill in here. Yeah. And So how much did you uh, pay, if you don't mind me asking, for uh, this uh, this little MX-5 Mark III? Well, this Barry was up for two thousand, sorry, 4295 Okay. If, with a little bit of negotiation and a new MOT, I yeah. was able to knock it down to four grand. So that's not actually that bad, is it? You know, I mean, considering it's what, uh, what's that, 08? So it'll be cutting up for, what, 13, yeah, 14 years old? That. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're seeing, even even some Mark IIs now are selling for that money. Yeah, you, you, it's getting to the point where really mint Mark IIs are going for that sort of money because I know the Mark One. if you want a really good one, you're paying over five. Yeah. Either. So this is sort of now becoming what the Mark II was and the Mark I a few years ago because obviously the Mark II was obviously always the cheapest one yes so, so this is sort of now taking over that so now is a good time to actually yeah, think about buying one of these it's definitely well worth buying one because the fact is the Mark III so is so much more that you can do with them now where it's a lot more because they're becoming more aftermarket focused mm -hmm. now yeah so you can get more aftermarket stuff to do um, because at one point they all, I believe all the mark, marks of the MX-5 go for it. The Mark III will go for it at some point. Yeah. I, mean, I still remember it came up on Facebook a couple of years ago. It's either buy an iPhone 10 or Mark one MX-5 mm. for the same price. And I still remember putting on in the in the comments on that one, I'll have the MX-5 over the phone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. All right, so I think... Uh, now we'll uh, we'll go out for a little spin and uh, see how it drives. I think. Let's get Barry out. <laughs> so first impressions for well as a passenger, obviously, it's actually rather comfortable, isn't it? To be it, honest with you. And from a, my driver's point of view, obviously your mileage may vary. Mm. It, it, I've had two other Mark Threes, and this is. Uh, the best Mark III so far, and that's comparing a 1.8. Yeah, the 1.8 was 126. Yeah, 126 power. horsepower, and the two litre is 160. The end sport is on 165. It's quite a significant difference, isn't it? Compared, like you know, it's in 200 cc difference or around 200 cc difference. Yeah, it's quite a significant jump. Yeah, um, and the. Uh, I find that the, because the six-speed comes with as standard uh, six uh, six-speed. The side the sport comes 
with a standard a six speed gearbox. So this is a five speed, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. because it's the icon. Mm. On it would have been a wouldn't even it wouldn't even have been an optional extra yeah. for a six speed. And I honestly think the five speed is better with the two liter engine. Mm. You got more get up and go in the five speed than like the six speed. Yeah. In the six speed wants to cruise. Five seat speed, looking at you going, come on, mm. come on. <laughs> it's like I need more gears <laughs> or a longer ratio. That variable time in engine. <laughs> mm. It goes really well, doesn't it? To be fair, like, it goes really like, like really well. Fair play. This is one of the. I I love my old Mark One. I absolutely adored that car, but. Yeah, we did a video on that as well, actually. I mean, it's buried away on the channel somewhere. I'll it's put a link the somewhere. It's one of the first videos that you did on your channel. It is, yeah, it is one of the first. collaboration video that we did together, because I'd done a video on my side as yes, well. Yes, you did, yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, and uh, you're getting the exclusive. Even I haven't told my subscribers yet that uh, I've got this car. Mm, yeah. So, um, like I said, this is a replacement for one of Reese's cars. Um, obviously, we won't go into like, too much details. If you want to know the story on that one, make sure you go and follow him, and I'll put a link for his channel in the description. So, looking at the uh, differences in here, obviously, like between the um, well, no, well, let, let's compare the Mark II because obviously it's the one previous. Yeah. There's a lot like you. It's a lot different in here, isn't it? Like you can tell they they have actually quite they've thought about like the interior and stuff oh yeah definitely it's like for example uh, they've lightened this interior mirror for example so if you eat a packet of crisps you've undone all the good work yeah <laughs> right? because they've lightened everything as much as they can and um, in the, i know this isn't sport but uh it uses oh, similar all right, radio then. in all of them yeah um in the sport there is a six cd multi-changer in here Oh, right, this okay. isn't the multi-changer, unfortunately, but it, it, But you still get, like, air conditioning and oh, yes, that, everything actually, like that, don't you? On some cars, there's actually just, on the MX-5 range, just as an optional extra. Right, okay. But, okay. the unfortunate person who bought this car paid for the aircon. That's good, and obviously and this is, this leather. being, this being an icon, obviously you get the lever and that as standard, yes, don't uh, you, so... Lever. We just mentioned one thing whilst we're here. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the sun, sun visors, visors yeah. Yeah, you... yeah. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of these sun visors. No, I didn't think you were, especially when you first saw Barry last week. Mm, yeah, like, I don't know, obviously, if you guys can see this, obviously I'll try and get a better uh, better video for you at some point, but there's just, there's, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's not It does nice seem like a bit of an afterthought, doesn't it? It is. It's I know, obviously, they're incorporated into the actual like obviously yeah, the the panel at the top, it's but an it is an it, it is, is a bit of an afterthought. You think you know at least put a bit of you know make them look a bit yeah, nice little with little some fabric, yeah, some leather or some fabric mm -hmm. or something. And you said that's in cross that's across the whole uh, all the Mark all the Mark Threes the have got one. these. And uh, even at the uh, Mark Three Point Five over there, which I came very close to looking at, mm. but they wanted too far too much money for it. Yeah, and they're the same on both sides as well. Like yeah. usually. But even on even on the Mark IIs, you actually get mirrors and stuff in here. Yeah, that's a mirror. That is a mirror, is it? Oh well, fuck me. There it is. Look. <laughs> There's a mirror on both sides. Is there? Yeah. So I didn't realise that. But still, though, I, I do think that there are a little bit of a mm. and I thought bad mark from Mazda there. <laughs> okay, so. Um, yeah, sat behind or sat in the driver's seat now, and just having a little, uh, having a little potter around. Um, he is playing with Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Flatcap, beware. <laughs> first, first impressions. Um, feels a lot more, a lot more solid, I think, than a Mark II, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Um, you can tell it's obviously more refined. It's better built. Um, they're really comfortable, actually. Mm, it is. I find the seats are so much better in. The Mark Three yeah. regarding the Mark One and Two because the Mark One or Two over time they have a it it starts off as really comfortable and then it works its way up to oh uh, oh dear yeah but I think I can actually because I've done it 
it, not, in the, not in the Mark 3, but in the Mark 1, hmm. I think I could actually drop, drive a Scotland in more comfort in this than I could the Mark 1. Yeah, yeah. No, no I, I'd, I'd go with that. I'd mm. go with that. And like I say, it's definitely, the seat's more supportive. Mm. Definitely. Um, and you sit surprisingly low, don't you? Yeah. You, I mean, considering, like, you know, you're looking out and obviously you actually got to look over the bonnet. Yeah, you do sit sit quite low, but yeah. the joyful thing is, unlike the Mark 1 and 2, mm. you, you can raise the seat up higher. Yeah, so you've got a high adjustable seat down yeah. here as well. That's uh, the one thing that they did bring in compared to the Mark 1 and 2, uh, but I've never needed to use it because... Uh, I'm You're pretty, not a short ass. No, uh, <laughs> well, I was I was trying to avoid that, uh, but okay. Uh, yeah. It's no secret that I, I'm probably one of the only people that has to move the C4 in one of these. Yeah, especially my car. <laughs> yeah. I, I got uh, the thing is, we're the same height. Yeah, but, but I've like, got short legs and uh, like a longer body. I've and, got to sit quite far forward in any car. And I like to stretch my legs a little bit longer so that I know that I'm engaging the, the clutch fully without oops, smothering the clutch yeah. and the throttle because I find that if I sit too close but in Darren's position for example I'm smothering the throttle mm. or I'm smothering the brake and the, the clutch and uh, well, this is this is perfect for me mm. like what's the pothole typical Welsh roads isn't it <laughs> no comment English words can be as bad well, the pickup's really good though, isn't mm. it? Like for some some two liters, especially like, like Ford and Mazda mm. and so on, like some two liters can sometimes feel quite boggy. Yeah, you, 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 you do get quite. Yeah, I think it all depends on their gearing because uh, uh, I've had the uh, two liter engines where I think bloody hell, where the hell did that power come from? And sure. uh, you get two liter other engines and you're looking at them going hello yeah. is anyone there wakey wakey yeah uh, it's like have i got to drop it down again just to get going yeah yeah i know what you mean and you mean. Uh, it's like for example the french engines uh, not all of them i've driven french two liter french turbo diesels and stuff like that um, or petrols Mm. I was only looking at him going, hello, yeah. oh, I was told you had the turbo, Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then you get like stuff like the BMW uh, 3 litre turbo diesel, for example, in the, in the 5 series, Yeah. These, which is like, uh, you put your foot on the throttle and it's like, uh, it's like a Piper's place bar, yeah, it's, it's yeah. like uh, you got Captain Picard and sat in the background going, what? Nine, and, in, <laughs> and then the words engage. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, but that's not nothing against the MX-5. It wasn't made to be a monster on wheels. It was made to have it's just fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's made to have fun, happy nuts. It's uh, it, it's a lot of fun to drive, and uh, I can sit uh, sit on a B road in its car all day long, and I could absolutely adore it. Yeah, yeah. It feels a lot bigger doesn't it? It like, does feel it. It feels, it feels bigger and I think that's where I think that's where people start with their criticism because it feels big and it does feel heavier than a Mark II. You can tell like just like, mm. like you know I mean you know it, it's, it handles really well obviously you know you've got your mm. you know you're actually, you know your lower suspension and whatnot and obviously better springs and stuff so I think that's that helps it quite mm. a lot. It does it, it helps massively but even when it's on the standard ride height it uh, it when it when you want it to go, it will get its belly pants and shoes out, and it will surprise you. The, the size is always surprises you. Belly dancing shoes. <laughs> but, but Where ballroom, did that come from? Ballroom dancing, I mean. Ballroom dancing shoes. Yeah. Okay, all right. In, uh, I've never known a car to have ballroom dancing shoes on, but well, because it, it feels so sharp when it, when you when you are when you are focused to drive. Yeah. Even not just taking a relaxing cruise up a country lane with yeah. the top down and a nice girl in the passenger seat. Mm. It, uh, if you're really after putting your foot down, it goes and uh, yeah, it it looks like when you're driving it and you're taking it to the next level of driving, it doesn't yeah. that weight doesn't feel anything, and you find that a lot of people who say about the weight the size of the car be and it being a boat yeah i've never driven a mark three yeah like i said like i obviously i can like i said obviously this is my first drive of one of these you know 
right? And I think that I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's both like obviously, you know, the bear suspension obviously helps. Yeah. Um but it's not it's not far from the standard suspension, it's only slightly lower. Yeah. But it's not uh, it's not major. Uh, and uh, it's yeah apart from that it's not has it hasn't got the strut mounts on the front or the back or any other stiffening things on it. Yeah. It it literally is virtually just infant springs and uh, the mark the regular height ride height of the car uh, is still a really good, great handling car. It will still all, uh, let you have fun, but it's, now you can put your foot down. Ooh, that it sounds like that. It does uh, sound nice as well, doesn't it? Like, it's, there's no like. Obviously, you've got a twin twin back box, haven't you? Yeah, as the standard on the Mark yeah. Foods. But there's no like 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 performance exhaust on it. But it does no, sound, not yet. sound yeah, not yet. Yeah, but it sounds nice though, doesn't it? Yeah, you definitely. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm quite glad it's the two D because I think the one point eight with one hundred and twenty six. Yeah, one hundred and twenty six brake. I don't think it'd be enough. No, I. I... At one point, I wasn't worried about what engine size I went with because the fact is, I honestly believed I'd be happy. Yeah. But since driving this, because at first I thought this was a one point eight because it wasn't. It's not many two liter icons out there. Uh, and then when I found out this was a two liter, I thought, oh, okay, that that should be all right. Uh, because it's an 08, it's been essentially a lot cheaper to tax than an 07 and two liter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I sort of thought, right, I'll just. I like the look of it, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. It, and uh, since driving this car, I am so glad I have yeah, bought the 2 litre. Yeah. I'd say the 2 litre is very similar to the 1.8 VB2. Yeah, it is. So I, 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 you've got the extra bit I of agree. weight, but obviously having that little bit of horsepower is what brings it back. So, you know, I think oh, yeah, if exactly. you're going to have one, it has to be a 2 litre. Yes, and Whichever one you go for, the golden hardtop one or the uh, soft top with the hard top. Yeah. Of, uh, the two litre is the one you want to go for. I think so, yeah. I think, obviously, where, where it's criticism comes in, so obviously it's on power and things like that. I think with the 1.8, I think that, that, that could be true. Yeah, that, with the 1.8, I, I, I completely agree with you on that one. I think that is underpowered for the weight of the car and what it is. Yeah. Whereas this is got the power for it, it but at the same time, it, you can do a lot of, lot of things with this engine. Yeah. Regarding the Mark III, you, even if you just do motor driving, and I don't, nothing against the Mark, if you go 1.8, Fine, and you like it yeah. by all means. Yeah, yeah, no, we're That's not fine. saying that you know, you're not, we're not don't buy a 1.8 it. because you know, obviously, you know, this is our opinion. Mm. Do you know what but, I mean? But uh, in my personal opinion, the two litre is not, a good, yes, I know it's a little bit heavier on petrol because of the weight, yeah, but it's a sports car, it's not made for fuel economy, it's no. made for fun, yeah. smiles per miles. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you were just you know, if you were just going out, you know, on a, you know, on a sunny day or whatever, you know, you weren't too worried about how quickly you were going to get there. To one point eight, it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Or, but if you want, you know, obviously, if you want something, you can, you know, take out, you know, give it a bit of abuse, mm. and you know, get there, you know, as quickly as you want to. Then I'd say buy the two liter. Oh yeah. So, my overall impression of the Mark Three, um. I'm quite surprised, actually, to be honest. All right, there are some negatives. You know, it is bigger and it is heavier, and you do feel it. And stupid fucking yeah, sun it, visors. Yeah, it's mainly the sun visors. Which I, I, I'm it's sorry, I decided to test them. I really do. But other than that, I'm actually impressed. Mm. You know, there's you know, it's a lot. Of, you know, it's it's still it's still MX5 fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. It's quite reasonably priced for what it is, and to be honest with you, it's very you know it's a it's a comfortable, very usable little car. Yeah, you know? it definitely is. It's very economical regarding yeah. fuel. All uh, we've hardly drunk the top doing what we've been, what we've done today. Yeah, a uh, 
and that uh, in all honesty I'm, I'm, I'm probably not the only one that's going to think this uh, Mrs. Flatcap might might disagree with me with this one because she's not a big fan of the NC no, no. but I still think I an NC I would think suit you yeah, I don't think it's the best look in a Max 5 no I'll it's, not the, it's like, not the best the no, Mark 1 there are some questionable ooh. design features like obviously like the rear brake light yeah. for example is it and I think you're sort of, it's got a Marmite front end in it, you either like it or, or you don't. Yeah, and the one thing that the, it's going up against the, the Mark 1 with pop up headlights. And uh, yeah, everyone always compares that, you know, time to move on, things yeah. like that, you know what I mean? I think that, yeah, it's probably not as, you know, it's probably not as, if you compare it to a Mark 1, no, it's probably not. As it's, not much, as agile. it's not as no, it's not as agile and it's not much more driver's car, but mm. what you've got to think of this car is Yeah, alright, it's not that, but it's more refined to be more comfortable and more mm. usable. Yeah, whereas the Mark 1 was ba essentially based off of all the classic British cars like Lotus Land, yeah. the Triumph Spitfire, yeah. the MGB GT. And the... I think those people who are sort of focused on that being that's what it is don't look at this car for what it actually is. Mm. This car is, you know, it's a two-seater vertical sports car that is a lot more comfortable. It's not as harsh, I don't think. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a lot more smoother. Yeah. It's even with lowered spring. Yeah, even because obviously this car is lowered spring, obviously, as we mentioned before. But even with those, it's not uncomfortable at all, is it? No, it's not. I, I'm even sat in passenger seat. Yeah. It, uh, I'm really, really comfortable, and not, and I know if I took the, the driver, the driver at the equation, and I just sat in the seat, yeah. I could easily fall asleep. Yeah. If, uh, you know, and, the, the, uh, no, the cabin is quite a nice place to be. There's a lot more space in here. Yeah, and more, more cubby holes, more, more cubby holes. There's a lot more storage. It's a lot more user friendly. Yes. And so, I, I, I know because I hate using that. <laughs> That phrase I hate using user friendly, but it but is. Things that's also is more aimed for the driver as well because he, unlike the earlier marks, marks of MX, he got the first time on MX5, he got the radio controls and the steel wheel. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, passenger seating was an afterthought on those, wasn't it? Let's yeah. Be fair. So, straight over? Right? Yep, yeah. straight over. Yeah, the passenger seating on the Mark 1s and the Mark 2s was always an afterthought because yeah. all your cup holders were always in the way of, you know, you changing bloody gear all the Yeah, time. and you, you get that one person with a big massive uh, bottle of pop and they'll put it there and they go, oh, you'll be fine. It's like, it's in the way. Or a big teacup. This is Mark Whereas the Mark, Mark 3, you haven't just got this center console uh, cup holders. You've yeah. got... To, there's, sto there's storage the door, everywhere. Right? Here. Door in the door cards. You got this massive one by the yeah. with speakers on the top as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this is is unlike one thing I do like, which I really prefer on the Mark Three compared to Mark One or Two. You got regarding the roof, mm -hmm. you've, uh, the Mark Two, One and Two. You got two clamps that you got to worry about, and you got to adjust them all the time. Yeah, and it can be a pig. There's Whereas, only one here, one in the middle. And you here. don't need to adjust it ever. No, you literally just pop it off and it comes mm. off. Obviously and when you've not got your hard top on it. Yeah, and it's actually easier to fit the hard top wire for the heated rear window on mm. this car compared to the Mark 1 or 2. Yeah. yeah. Because it just slots into the side of it, whereas the Mark 1 or 2, yeah. you got to clip it into another wire mm. and it, it can be awkward. Yeah. yeah. But it is such a bet, you know, it's still got the charms of the Mark 1 and 2, yeah. but at the same time, it's more civilized. It is more it's, civilized. It's like a Labrador. It's more, it's more civilized, it's more refined, mm. and it's just a little bit easier to live with. Yeah. Right. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. So, yeah, once again, thank you to Rhys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, please go and subscribe to his channel. Check him out. He's got loads and loads of good content. We've got lots of, good, lots of stuff coming up uh, quite soon, in fact, um, with a uh, little announcement of some things that are happening next year for the both of us. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're new here, just remember, 
give me a subscription and um, drop, a, drop a video a like as well. So yeah, really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da! Bye-bye!